sometimes I wake up so clueless about what to do. I think my mind doesn't work best on an empty stomach or on a cold stomach because the moment I get something hot to drink, then I start to think. I recently planted uh, some bougainvillea. We have three types here. We have white, orange, and uh, the purple one. I think it's bright pink, not purple. So I propagated the white one and uh, it has grown very well. And today I intend to plant the two others, the orange and the bright pink. So I'm just going to cut some branches, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So always when propagating any plant, it's always important that you pick the healthiest. Just look through the branches and look for the very healthy branches. So whatever I'm propagating today will be planted in my home. My new home, if you've been following, you know about that. I'll head on and pick the orange one, then I'm going to plant them. So first you need to get rid of all the branches and all the leaves that are on the stem that you've picked. So that you're just left with a stick and the thorns. Bougainvillea is very thorny, so please don't damage the thorns, leave them. So this one here is the one I planted earlier, the white one. And you can see how healthy the leaves look, it has picked up very well. So this is how to plant uh, bougainvillea. The thorns are usually carved downwards. So when planting, make sure the thorns are pointed downwards. Then from under the thorn, that is where the new buds will be coming from. Yeah, like this here. This is where the new growth will come from. So don't damage the thorns. It protects the new buds that are coming up. So I'll just uh, put them into the soil. Make sure they are uh, firm, then water well. So in about 10 days, the buds will start growing. And uh, that is just how we propagate bougainvillea. It's that easy. If you keep lots of chicken, you know about this uh, bug that keeps coming, especially after brooding. So I have uh, lots of them and they've really been bothering the chicken. So I bought this uh, doo-doo dust. Doo-doo means bugs. So it's bug dust. And I'm just going to pour it here. I'm told it works so well. And it kills a number of uh, bugs and fleas. The insecticide comes in powder form. So I'm wearing a mask so that I don't inhale the powder. Insecticides are always somehow toxic when inhaled. We have more birds laying, so I just added a few more nests in the coop. That's what you see here. 
I have a special recipe to make today, so I'll just head out and get some pumpkin. I need pumpkin as an ingredient. I don't know if you've ever had chapati cooked with pumpkin. So that's what I'm going to cook today. And you can follow the recipe if you love it. Probably you will enjoy it and it's very healthy. It's been over a week since we had rain and it's really hot today though the clouds are becoming darker which means we might just have rain today i sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused i really really wanted to cook outdoors today but the rains have come and now i have to abort that mission but i promise in tomorrow's video we are going to have that uh, pumpkin recipe Bye-bye. See you in the next.